I'm glad to meet you again on our lessons. Previously, we were treating key signature. All right, so I would like us to move away from the key signature and then we'll go into interpreting the staff in sulfur notation. All right, so we know that a key signature will help us identify the tonal center of a particular key or a given key. Okay, so, and the key signature is named by its tonal center. Right, so if we say key G, it means that the tonal center is on G. But I would like us to start on the fundamental key, which is key C. All right. Now let's pay attention to the way I mentioned sulfur notation. I didn't say tonic sulfur. All right. We know that tonic is just the first note of a scale. The first note of a given scale. All right. But I will be slow at telling those who have been saying tonic sulfur that they are wrong. They are not wrong or they may not be wrong because other books do make mention of tonic sulfur. I want to go by sulfur notation. All right. So in interpreting a staff in sulfur notation, we are just to know that the scale has given us tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, then leading note, then octave are also expressed in sulfur as a do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, and then do. What's the implication? It means that if we are starting on C, we have the white key before the two black keys, which is the do. The next one, which is supertonic, is re. The next one, which is median, is mi. The next one, which is subdominant, is fa. The next one, which is dominant, is so. The next one, which is submedian, is la. The next one, which is the leading note, as t, and then octave, as the do higher. All right. So it will be our reference scale. What do I mean? It means that if I should give you some pitches like that for you to name them or name or give their sulfur names for this. I don't need the E, I don't need G, I don't need E, I don't need G, I don't need C. In fact, these are the letter names on the staff. But our sulfur names, if we know that this line or the letter line here is do then the space here before the first line will be re and then the first line here which we need now will be me it means that you write me if you want to identify this we have me pa so so the next one is so if you want to get this so we come down so the downward the melody the backwards the reading of the sulfur. So if we are on so here and we are coming down, it means we have to go back. So this is so, we are coming down one, two. It means one, two, and it will be me. Remember, we had that same note here. And then that will be re, because it's on a D, re, and then we come back to do. This is what I want us to be doing, just to know the sulfur names of the note in a given key. All right. I would like us to end here and I'll give you similar exercises on the page so you identify the sulfur names. The key signature can change, but I know you'll be able to identify the tonal centers or where the do falls given a particular key. Thank you. Stay safe. I'll meet you on the page. Bye bye.